fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with silver trim, representing Mark Roberts Worldwide Entertainment and Sports, and hailing from Brooklyn, New York. With a record of 31 wins, two losses, he has 25 big wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the WBC number seven ranked heavyweight contender, introducing the hard-hitting Shannon Briggs. Wearing solid white trunks, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He weighed in at a ready 232 pounds. His fine record stands at 39 wins, two losses, one no contest with 24 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former IBF heavyweight champion of the world, known as the White Buffalo, introducing Francois Botha. Boxers. You both received your instructions in the dressing room. Once again, let me remind you, there's no standing eight count. There's no three knockdown rule. If a fighter gets knocked down, go to the furthest neutral corner. Wait till I tell you to come out. Protect yourself at all times. Let's touch gloves. I expect a good, clean fight. He is flashy, flashy dressed. Indeed, he's a, he's a vision. Ooh, look at that right hand to start. Shannon right Briggs hand. with a big overhand right. And if Shannon Briggs wants to get by both and then fight Mike Tyson. He's gonna have to fight a fight where he comes straight in and punches because that's the kind of fight that Mike Tyson likes. And both of certainly stands there, waits for you to come in. He, there's no fancy footwork, no movement. He's gonna stand there. If you come in, you can pop him. Both was very candid about the fact that he's got to wait the first three or four rounds and weather the storm. He knows Briggs is gonna come out banging. Yeah, he says to win I got to control the pace. I can't just apply pressure. I need a jab even while backing up He said both are tries to be cute and he showboats I got to stay right on top of him see how smart a fighter he is But both have said he's not going to showboat or be cute anymore. He was too careless against Mike Tyson Both it does not have the range or the speed to win this fight going backwards if he stays going backwards this whole fight He can't win it. He's got those little short arms. He's got to come forward He's got to come forward. He's got to get under the jab. He's got to get to the body. And he has to wear Briggs down with body shot. Briggs is much faster, and he should be flashing those hands in there right now. If he wants to take this, if he wants to show he's 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 the kind of guy that fights for the title, and he's got to come in with speed. He's got to come in with force. Bit of a chess match here in the opening round under a minute remaining. Round one scheduled for ten. Both is working behind a nice double jab and overhand right. Fairly effective. Not a lot of action right now. Except for that combination, the jab and then the overhand right by Briggs. Both are certainly a good target. Not much movement for Briggs. Again, both is working in behind the double jab, hitting Briggs with a right hand on the side of his temple. And every time he's throwing that right hand, Briggs has counter like that with a right hand. Briggs is no question faster. He's got longer arms, and he's got oh, the... Oh, oh, nice right hand by Botha in counter punch. I think Briggs was stepped on accidentally by Botha and yeah. lost his balance. The feet got tangled up, Steve. I saw that, too. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> Briggs for his height and reach should be more effective with the jab. Look Back at what appeared to be Botha stinging Briggs. But I don't. it doesn't look like that right hand really was the thing that landed. It, it appeared to be more of the feet. From the overhead, let's look at the feet and see where they tangle. If, yeah, you know what? It wasn't a feet tangling. It was just Briggs off balance. Not a bad round for both men. I, I gave it to Briggs, but not a bad round for either one. Both are uh, coming out dangerously. He was left low. Briggs uh, does have the sharp jab and a long reach, and he's looking to take advantage. Nice right hand by Briggs. He's, you, can see, you can see the look in both his eyes. It hurt, but he smiled back just a nice little smirk. There's that snappy jab by Briggs. There's two in a row. Both the smiles at him. At least he's not talking to him like he did his last fight. Good right hand. Sneaky right over the top by Briggs. See, the things that Botha needs to do to get to Briggs, he not only is not doing, but he generally, we've seen him over the past, cannot do. Keep a good pace. Tire Briggs out. Make Briggs worry. Keep the pressure on. He's never shown the ability to hold that type of pace, use that kind of energy, and work that hard. Well, he's going to need it this time. 
rounds because I don't think both of them intentionally wants to throw away the first three rounds waiting for this guy to get tired. I mean, I don't think that at all. There he is. He's fighting hard. Now. He's fighting a lot harder now. Is both of us. Well, he trained eight weeks at Big Bear. He went back to chopping wood, which he attributes uh, to his look right now. He's lost a little weight. It's, it's still a little on the uh, on the uh, fleshy side there. He's still not a tone fighter, and, and it always makes me wonder about his diet. He's changed his diet four or five times. His trainers, his training technique. He's done a number of things differently. Well, he's he's saving saving everything for the fight. He says he, he in the past he said he worked too hard in the gym under uh, Panama Lewis. No more Panama Lewis now. Is Abel Sanchez? You know, a great heavyweight, former heavyweight world champion, who's in our audience tonight, Larry Holmes, never had the best physique. But what a fighter he was in his day. He still is. But he was huge. <laughs> he was a Woolworth builder. That guy was big. Oh, pretty good champ. You yeah, had to get in the ring with him to understand how big he was. Heading for the bell, round two. There. Right hand over the top by Bolton. Oh, good, good punches by both at the end. Make a statement early in this round, using that nice long jab and a straight right hand, snapping both his head back, got his attention immediately, and then jabbing his way in later. Well, there's a right hand and a sort of a left uppercut, not using the jab to strip. Round three. Things cranking up. Things are cranking up. There you go. Good idea, though. It, it went right over his left and should have landed. Briggs immediately tied him up. He got Briggs' attention a couple of, with a left hand on the inside and, and one of the rights. Which uh, could be dangerous. Loading up with that right hand could open himself up on the uh, on the left side of his body. To the right by Briggs. This guy's going all out. Both the knows this is night, and he's got to look good. That was uh, a problem he had against uh, Mike Tyson, although he controlled the fight. It was a good left jab by Briggs. He didn't follow up. It was one and done. And again, one and done by both. Yeah, but not, I mean, uh, he's got a good jab. That's what, what kept Moore at bay. That's what was winning the fight for him with Tyson. He's not doing bad. He's doing very good here. Yeah, because both is doing the action. Both is leading. He's 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 letting corner people scream you first you first this is what you'd be screaming at, at uh, Briggs right now big round for both of come on you first. Him right here very good frequency oh there's a smacking left hook by Shannon Briggs sort of an off balance shot but it nailed both in the face He's one of the bravest fighters you'll see though Francois both you could say nasty oh, things oh, about oh, his oh. skills oh he's brave he stands oh, right oh, in there, oh, doesn't he? Oh. And this time, he lets loose for the combination. Not one and done. He hit Shannon with all three of those shots. That jab following. Shannon's defense is getting more suspect. Both have said George Foreman and him, he's slow. Now, George is also 6'4", but oh. both are proving his point. And both are gaining confidence. Good block off that straight right by Brett. Both are doing the oh, fighting oh, right now. Oh. Oh. An overhand right. That oh, caught oh. the attention of Briggs. Seven, seven, seven. Okay, all right. Here we Fight him clean. Wild miss there by both of us. No counter punch by Briggs. Time! Good round for Botha. That was Abel Sanchez to Francois Botha. You heard Emmanuel Seward say, hey, Botha's not counter punching. Take advantage. Both is not a good counter punch, not a good mover. But he's timing you, starting to get your timing down. Combination to the head by Francois Botha. And the other guy's just ducking in and closing in the defensive procedure instead of counter punching. Now a little taunting by Botha. That's not what you want to see. That's what he did against Tyson. Came back to haunt him. He can't just fall in a defensive shell. Pounding overhand right off the top of the head. Bobby, what did Emmanuel Stewart mean when he said he's timing? He's well, what, it, what happens is this. Shannon Briggs is strictly counterpunching at one point, which is what Mandel Stewart is talking about. So when look, when Francois both the punches, Shannon Briggs makes the same move to get out of the way. He's starting to time it. He throws a punch out of just to make that move. Big is by He's got Briggs in a little bit of trouble. Oh, he got hit a good collection of punches. There wasn't just one or two. Oh, there's a terrific right hand by Bozo. Stop one, stop one, stop one, stop one. Right on the mark. First he pulls out a, a, a left and then comes a right. 
If he ever throws a left hook after that, could be Katie bar the door. So far, Shannon Briggs is anything but impressive. Look. This is not helping his stock, and again, it's helping both the stock. And those punches being blocked by both. A right hand counter punch that wasn't blocked by Francois Bolton. That was beautiful. Later in the round, Bolton still landing that big right hand. He's timing Shannon Briggs' is lean, and Shannon Briggs is not getting out of the way. He paid attention to that pawing jab and leaning in, so the right hand lands. That's what that's what they tell him. That's what Emmanuel Stewart is telling him. You're letting this guy time you. One of the keys to victory, uh, we told you, for Boca was to connect with the big right hand. He's been doing that thus far with regularity. Now you can remember that Boca. Oh, nice combination of the head by Briggs, his best flurry. He threw a nice big right hand here. Steve, he should have followed it up. He should have taken a look and a feel to see if Boca was hurt and if he had something there. Well, Briggs better do something right now. He's, he's certainly not winning this fight, nor is he impressing anybody. He's winning this round, though. He's coming out, yeah. trying to make a statement, trying to re reverse the tide. Bobby, we're at the middle of the round. <laughs> we got a long way to go to the end of that. Meanwhile, a good sneaky right hand applied by both of to the face of Briggs. They're both are trying to set up the right with a double left jab. There, there it is. is. Right there. You could see it coming, Steve. You were talking about it while it was on the way. A whacking left hook off the side of the face. Back no. comes both of the combination. And they keep landing. That right hand keeps landing. Bridge fires some wild shots. Yeah, wasted he was a lot missing. of energy. He was missing. There's a oh, very effective combination to the head by both of them. Now he goes downstairs to the body. Stop Biggs has got in his in his uh, ribs. He's got in his jaw. Overhand right by both of that scored again to the jaw of Briggs. It's amazing to me with what appears to be not very quick right oh, hand. Oh, nice counter. Kind of both uh, opened himself up. He faked the right. He stood still like a statue, and he ate one. And he, really he ate a good one too, Steve. And he ate a big one. Not a good move by both. He should have followed through. Yeah. Okay, good job. Good job. There was a nice feint. Shannon Briggs fainted. Briggs, excuse me, both have stopped in his tracks, and Shannon hit him with a nice right uppercut. He said, don't stop a punch in mid-arc. That's when you're going to get in, and that's what happened. Well, we're halfway through. How about some unofficial scores? Well, I got a very close both ahead, 48 to 47 by mine. I tell you what, he's found gold with his right hand. It's but you know what? Look at him. He's stop getting tired, stop guys. Stop and that's how he used it with Moore. I mean, Botha is not a guy that's got a big iron constitution. You yeah. saw the online scoring there. And uh, Botha coming into this fight saying, hey, I just, it's a short fight, relatively short. I want to get as many rounds in the bank as Brick starts to come back, but not for long. Or both it does look exhausted. Both Just fighters have a reputation too of having a small gas tank. Straight right hand gas. by Shannon Briggs to the chin of Francois Botha. Briggs looking more effective here now all of a sudden. Botha slowed down. Every once in a while he gets one off, but Briggs is scoring more. But back comes Botha. Nice right hand. Nice right hand and left hook. But you know what? It's going to come down to those quick punches that Briggs will throw. The tap, 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 like that. Botha has got the counter and start working again. He's running out of steam. For Francois Botha, he has had energy problems as fights have worn on. Wore on. Perfect time for a body shot. I was just thinking Shannon went downstairs but didn't connect. Very polite referee. Oh. Great right hand by Botha. That, that set breaks back. Oh. Oh. Missed with that one. Well, just when you think Botha's in trouble, he comes back. We've seen that many times. Look, he's just pulling with the left, nails him with the right, and then hugs him. Both of them. Both of them, when he wants to be in action, is taking the, this fight. There it is again. Overhand right. right hand again. By Francois Botha, and again, scoring effectively. Now the left jab. What he could actually do. I think his body style is that. I mean, he can go so far. Right even, even if, well, let's just throw the body style out and the body shape. What he's able to do with performance. Score. Right on the button. I think he is with this. Jab, jab, right hand. Another right hand. Counter right hand on the inside. Right hand in a look. That right hand is finding such a home. There's a double right hand. One to the body. Another one to the chin. 
Followed up with another one in the left hand. Briggs looking to hit it on one punch with a home run left there, but left himself wide open just before the bell, and he really paid the price. That's what Briggs needs to do, that jab. There's almost no way for both to offset that jab if he keeps using it. Right, break. Get out, get out. Yeah. Oh. Briggs turns his face and when he uh, turns his face away to receive the jab. That's when he gets hit with the right hand. He doesn't seem to be able to keep his eye on the right hand. Just like he that, just he did it. it again. That's he's completely over oh. to the right. He can't see it. There's a left jab by Briggs. Got in there. Both of them. Did not counter. That overhand right continues to oh. be a big weapon for Francois Bolton. And then he nailed him with a left hook, a short left hook. Got yeah. Boy, the left hook is the one to paint you. Now he goes to the body again to the chin. A right hook there by a Francois Botha to the face of Briggs. It's Botha all the way right now. Botha on a roll. And Briggs' legs just now for the first time didn't look like they were under him as well as they should be. Those body shots probably contributing to that. And now shots to the head by Botha. He's just wearing Briggs out. Well, Body shots. Oh, ah. Briggs has been down three times in his career, both or twice. Oh. An abrasion above the right eye of Botha, who just nailed Briggs with a right cross. A cut over the left eye. Briggs, oh, a straight right hand by Botha, right on the nose. Briggs is in a little trouble now. Yeah, Br Briggs is a little Briggs is rocky. Get Briggs is dead. Both that just wants it more. And we talked about the intangibles. Skill factor, Shannon Briggs. Seven seconds to go in the round. Guts, heart, nerve. And who wants it more right now? Francois Botha. Making a statement. No wow. question. That's a good, good round for Botha. He comes in behind that jab, and that right hand is right there. There's the jab. Bang. Right hand on the button. Closes the gap. He's on the inside. He's got to be the more effective man on the inside. Later in the round, for pretty much the whole round. Both are loading up with the right hand. There's the jab and the right hand right over. Shannon Briggs not making any adjustments whatsoever. Manuel Stewart's giving him the right advice in the corner. He just cannot do Big it. sense of urgency in the Briggs corner as we enter round eight. Stick and move there, hollering at him. Stick and move. Well, he better do something. He can't just stand there and keep hitting, getting hit by both of them. There, there it is again, the overhand right, another one. Against Tyson, you could see both are using a jab and a long-range right hand against a guy bigger than him, faster than him, with longer reach. You never would think it, but he's using similar style to get the job done. Briggs missing with that combination. A very hungry Francois Botha. There's a wild miss again with that left hook by Briggs. Beautiful jab by Shannon Briggs. You may recall... Shannon Briggs missed with one of those wild lefts against Lennox Lewis. Got knocked down and he blamed it on that. Shannon Briggs like right now. Vu. Steve, right now Shannon Briggs is sucking it up. Emmanuel Store told him, you can't you lose this round. I got to have this round. And Shannon Briggs is going out there and showing that he's got what it takes well, to at least give it his best. He said it's all about guts right now. I cleaned that up for you. Well, he, he has been getting gone. Get out, get out. And, and the two good punches he threw, he missed both of them. They look good, but they didn't land. And both are just walked into the left, but he hammers him with a right. Both hand the free, hand the free. into the Let's face go. of Briggs. The right hand is landing with such frequency, it's almost ridiculous. I can't understand. I cannot understand why Shannon Briggs doesn't have that left hand high and make a different move. It's the same move, and he lands it. Briggs is confused. He's frustrated and he's tired. Those are not. That's not a good combination in boxing. And he's not. There goes a mouthpiece out of Briggs, and that proves that he's tired. When you lose the mouthpiece, but he's the one that's more effective. Even though he's tired now, there's blood streaking down the left side of both his face. He's doing this on. Look at this. But he's, he's coming back strong. He senses it too. He's doing it on sheer guts. He's tired. He's exhausted. He's not the more skilled of the two, but he wants it more, and he's tougher. He's and to, he believes in himself more, Steve. Trying to wipe the blood out of his left eye is both. Uh, he's bleeding, as you said, on both sides of the face. We talk about heart and guts. Francois both has got him. Boy, he is becoming a fan favorite. He is pawing at that eye. He could be. There's a straight right hand by Briggs. His best punch. 11, and both is down. It's a knockdown. It's another both of night. Seven, eight. Yeah, here we go again. It's another both of night. He needs 20 seconds to survive, and Briggs is trying to end it right here. 
in round eight. It's All again, over. it's again, it's a, it's a, it's a matter of fatigue. Eddie caught looking closely. He's got enough time. Ten seconds. He hasn't got any time. He Coco got with any no time. energy, hanging in there. It's all hard. Boom! What resolve by Francois Boca? Shannon Briggs sensing the need to do something to make a statement. Gets a nice right hand. He hurts both of both. goes back to the ropes and walks right into a straight, excuse me, a left hook. It's another angle. Here's the left and then the right. That's the right hand that starts things. Now watch his left hand. Right there. That left hand, he came off the ropes right into the left hand. He was hurt. I think this knockdown was a combination of a couple of good punches by Shannon Briggs as well as both his fatigue. Both will never be able to fight 10 or 12 rounds at a great pace. He just doesn't have it for whatever the reason. It's another both the night. Both of them for the third time in his career versus Moore in the 11th round twice. And now he's Francois Botha looking like a beaten fighter. You wouldn't know that he's been winning decisively up to this point. Up until that point, I had a 68-65. Yeah. Now I have a 76-75. Exactly. Botha's still ahead by one point. Exactly. Exactly what I, I have. Stop. If you're a fighter, if you're Francois Botha, what do you do now? Do you try to stay away from Briggs and try to win it on the cards, or do you go forward like Abel Sanchez tells him? He has to go forward. He has no choice, but he doesn't have the energy. He cannot. A straight right hand by Botha. Get up, get up, get up, get up, he, he cannot get up. keep the pace that was necessary to win this fight. If he kept the pace he was keeping, you saw what he was Come doing. On. That was one of my keys, too. You had to land that right hand, get inside, work there. Straight right hand by Botha. He's coming back. Let's go. Get up, get up, get up. Three fights, he loses three fights, and somebody loves him. Well, he hasn't lost no. yet. He hasn't, he hasn't lost, lost yet. yet. It's oh. boxing. Left by Briggs that scored right on the face of Botha. Left hook by Briggs. Botha back to the body with the He's right. Get up, get up, get up, get up. If Briggs doesn't put him away now, then, then, the, then the market value on Briggs is down. The way it was, but Briggs is just walking the but, right but hand after right hand. It stopped him from punching, Bobby, and those seconds are ticking away. We're inside of one minute. All he's got to do is survive this minute and get his gas back into the tank. All, 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 fi all guns firing. It's no reason for him to let both off the hook. None. Low blow there on the right uppercut by both of them. You all right? You all right? Let's go. The all that time the talking is going, seconds are ticking by. Seconds to save Botha. Botha running out of complete gas late in the fight. The stock can't go up, but he could be a very worthwhile opponent for some of the other fighters. Only one round remaining after this. Oh, nice right hand. Dramatic stuff in the corner of Shannon Briggs. Desperation time for Briggs. And survival time for Botha. I have it 85-85, guys. This round is the... Deciding factor on my unofficial scorecard. The last round could decide the future for these two heavyweights. Round 10. This is the round for their careers. And I, I must say, while that's nice hype, I, I can't agree completely because both guys, oh, both oh, guys have covered stop, themselves. Stop, stop, They're fighting. Stop, stop, Another stop, overhand stop, stop, right stop, that scores for both. Both is, you know what? I think, I'll tell you what, I think I right now, stop, I think stop, both are wants it more. Stop. What what a way this has to lay out. Stop her, stop. A little low. Cut at the corner. Briggs' right eye continues. And he continues to be first, both. If the other guy could just, Briggs could just get his punches off. If he could just land something hard. Botha is so exhausted. And look at the eyes of Botha. Bloody. But he continues to land with that right, the overhand right. That has been his punch. Get up, get up, get up. All night long. Halfway through the last round. Does Briggs have what it takes? Briggs' eye is bleeding. Get up, get up. I think Briggs has more in the tank. I think Briggs has more skills. I think there's no question that Francois Botha is the braver man who wants some more. Look at that combination. Big finish here for Botha. Determination. Who wants to win? Who will not lose? Botha. Oh, what a powerful overhand right by Botha. Right on the face of Briggs and the crowd going wild. 
Another straight right hand by Boca. He continues to score. Look at the blood on the face of Prince. Another right by Boca. And again. Look at the ears bleeding now. Even his ear is bleeding now. The left there of Briggs is in a pool of blood. Stop him, stop him, stop him. We approach the final 30 seconds of the final round. What a strong finish by Botha. All over Briggs, landing repeatedly with the overhand right. There's a straight right hand right on the nose. And Briggs is dazed. He can barely stand. Botha continues to land. 15 seconds to go. It's Francois Botha's night. Briggs misses with a wild left. Five seconds to go. They embrace in the center of the ring, and this one is over. Well, even if we got a draw, the winner is both the, as far as public opinion is concerned, and the loser is definitely Briggs. So we await the decision. A very worried look on the face of Shannon Briggs. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing here at the Trump Taj Mahal, we go to the scorecards. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Joseph Pasquale scores about 95 to 92. Francois Botha. <laughs> Judges at ringside, Eugene Grant and John Stewart both scored about... 94-94, a draw. The decision is a majority draw. All right, I, I tell you what, I actually hate myself for being right. I, I hate you for being right, and I hate me for being wrong, but that, damn it, you're right. That is highway robbery. That is a stinker of a call. Well, Francois Bobby Botha won that fight. All right, Bobby, call it. Let's, let's, let's say it like it is. Bobby.